sometimes it's really hard to understand the interactions of supply, demand, and price. In this particular diagram, if we move in this direction, what we're indicating is the price has gone down and the quantity demanded has increased. If we move up on this supply curve, we're showing that as price increases, the quantity supply increases. But it gets confusing because quantity can also serve as an independent variable, and that could bring about changes in price. By shifting out the demand curve, showing an increase in supply, we show that price goes down. And if quantity were to constrict and go back to the left, that would increase the price. Well, that's kind of a hard for a lot of people to remember. And so, what I propose is a really simple story about three animals. A pigeon, a snake, and a dog. Pigeon, snake, and dog. Now that pigeon seeks the protection of the dog, because he's afraid of the snake. So uh, there's the pigeon, and there's the dog. If the dog goes in one direction, the pigeon's going to follow. The dog goes down, the pigeon follows. Demand moves, and price follows. Okay, so that's the pigeon seeking protection of the dog. Demand goes down, price goes down. The demand goes up and increases, so does the price. But that pigeon also seeks to avoid the snake. He's afraid of being eaten by the snake. So whatever direction the snake moves in, the pigeon will go in the opposite direction. Here's the snake. Here's the pigeon. If the snake goes here, the pigeon's going to go here far away from the snake. The snake goes down here, the pigeon's going to go up there. Supply tends to produce an opposite effect in price. Total amount supply decreases, prices go up, like with gasoline now. Supply goes up, like it happened with gasoline in the 80s, price tends to go down. So, when we see a decrease in supply, price goes up. We see an increase in supply, price goes down. But the dog and the pigeon also have their motives. That dog doesn't like the pigeon. He thinks the pigeon's kind of dirty. So the dog avoids the pigeon. If the pigeon moves in one area, the dog tries to get away. If the dog moves, pigeon moves down here, the dog's going to move up here. Demand tends to try to keep away from price. Price is low, demand is high. Price tends to go high, Demand for that high-priced product tends to diminish. There's also a relationship between the snake and the pigeon. 
That snake goes after the pigeon, wants to eat that pigeon. So, pigeon goes up here. Here comes the snake trying to get close to the pigeon. Pigeon goes down here. Snake tries to get close. So, price goes high, and this tends to cause a greater quantity supply. Price goes low. This reduces the quantity supplied. So, when price goes up, demand goes down, supply goes up. When price goes down, demand goes up, and supply goes down. So to remember these dynamics, just remember the pigeon, the snake, and the dog.